but I just want to show you how things just spiraled. It's been two weeks after that procedure and I wanted to give you guys an update on my stage one skin cancer melanoma plus 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 journey. Today is a good day and I'm going to give you guys an update as to where things are at. Um, but just looking back at that video, I, I look at my composure and I'm clearly in the taking in information phase. Like emotionally, I, I don't think it had hit me because this past week was was very difficult. I was getting in really dark places um, because I had my appointment on Friday and that's when I got the results of like, did they get all the melanoma out? Spoiler, they did, yay. So for now, my uh, scar is healing. Actually, let me show you a picture. Okay, this is two weeks after um, the surgery and it healed up really nicely. I was really good with it. Everything is clean. The surgeon was like, wow, I did extra excellent work. Can I take a picture? He was very happy with the results. Um, and I gotta say, yeah, like other than the staples, they look gross, but it's actually, it looks really clean and it healed really nicely. This is after the staple removal, a little tender. I was really scared um, to get the staples out. I was like, I was spiraling that day. Thankfully, my sister came with me to the hospital. She was like my rock <laughs> that day. I had cried like a million times. Um, I think it's just the unknown. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like I was like an emotional wreck. Um, even just that day leading up to the appointment, I was like, my stomach was <laughs> churning. And But good news, everything is healing really well. Got the, like the reports came back, melanoma is clear. Now, I gotta address something in the other video. The basal cell carcinoma and the dysplastic melanostatic nevus, I'm getting good, um, that's here. This appointment is next Friday, November 1st. I can update you guys if you wanna stay on top of this journey. Um, so these will have to come out. And the correction I wanna make is basal cell carcinoma is cancer. It's hard to say hard to say it I can feel it in my stomach um, but it's a slower growing cancer so we will get to it one thing at a time um, the other thing that I was like spiraling last week is the fact that I am covered in like beauty marks sunspots moles all the things like that's just who I am I've had a lot of exposure to sun like we were like beach kids growing up um, I hated sunscreen when I was a kid and I would like run away from my mom and even like as an adult It's just it doesn't come naturally to me. I don't like the feeling but I'm gonna have to totally change my life routine um, Because this was freaking scary and not to mention the impacts on my family This is my sweet little boy Victor like he had, he was being like ultra emotional, wanted extra hugs before leaving for school and everything. He had a hard time at school. Um, and I just, I realized like I need to be there for him too. This was this morning. My husband, a landscaper, now turned hairstylist. He blow dried my hair and then I was able to get my curls in with um, the shark. So I'm starting to get independent. I had my shower today. I washed my hair today. So I feel like my arm is a little bit more mobile in the shower. Um, so that's just, it's a nice feeling. All these little milestones, I just feel like more normal. And I think next week I might even start um, going back to doing my workouts because my shoulder is starting to get stiff and we were already there for two years. So it's time to rehab again. And then as far as like this is just the beginning of my journey and I do think that the worst is over, but I'm just gonna keep track of what's going on on my body. Um, I have an appointment with my dermatologist in May and I don't, we didn't talk specifically about doing like the MOH clinic, but that I, I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen is we're gonna go on a regular basis, take out what we don't like um, and just stay safe. Uh, you know, sunscreen, <laughs> sunscreen. I already took out my makeup. I was gonna do my makeup and I don't have sunscreen out. So you guys are gonna keep me honest throughout this whole process. So um, yeah, it's just been a freaking whirlwind. Like when I say whirlwind, that's exactly the word to describe it. There's just no other way to describe it. But I do appreciate all your kind messages um, in my last video 
and um, I know that I'm obviously not alone. Lots of people uh, going through the same thing. And one thing I learned was that like Australia is the like the wor has the worst case of skin cancer. And I, I mean, it makes sense. It's like a uh, lots of sun, but uh, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys, and you know, watch out for each other. And if you have someone close to you that can literally have your back, <laughs> um, but yeah. These kinds of things are so scary and and hard to um, like make sense of, but it's 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 also kind of really nice to see how much people care about you and check in on you and um, yeah, so that's kind of like the positive that comes out of this. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I will keep you guys updated. Um, take care, fresh air. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.